Hi everyone, welcome back to the another video of Engineers Academy and in this video we are going to differentiate about the two of the impact testing process which is nothing but the IZOD impact test and the Charpy impact test. In this video we will see the how the specimen is different, how the actual process is different over here. So hey guys welcome back to the another video of Engineers Academy, myself Narendra and you are watching Engineers Academy which is nothing but the platform on YouTube which is based for the engineering aspirants. So on my engineering uh, academy YouTube channel you will get uh, uh, videos related to most of the engineering topics, latest technology, material science, automobile engineering. So guys please do watch my this video till the end and guys please support me, please motivate me by subscribing to my educational channel Engineers Academy and guys don't forget to hit the bell icon. So guys without wasting any time let's begin with our today's topic that is nothing but the IZOD impact test and the CHARP impact test. So guys these are the two impact tests which is nothing but the IZOD impact test and the CHARP impact test which is determined the total toughness value for a material which, which is nothing but the high strain rate test. So and it also gives us the amount of the energy absorbed by the specimen during the loading condition. So let's check out the these are of the two of the uh, processes. Let's take first of all the IZOD impact test. So over here you can see this is the impact testing machine which is having a pendulum type hammer connected to a scale and on the tower on the just below that the hammer there is like an anvil and upon that anvil our specimen will be kept. So in the case of IZOD impact test this particular pendulum hammer is having a scale and it is set to a portion of a 90 degrees in case of the IZOD impact test. So the you know the hammer is set at the scale of the 90 degrees which is totally perpendicular to the you know, the specimen. The specimen held vertically. So the specimen belongs to the specifications of the ASTM A370 or else ASTM E23. So that particular standard is for the both of the test that is for the IZOD as well as the, for the CHARP impact testing. So over here in case of the IZOD impact test the specimen held vertically such that you know the specimen will be having the specification of the which is having a 10 mm square and will be having a 75 mm long in case of the IZOD impact test. So these are the standard specification of the specimen. Also this particular specimen is having a V notch over there in the center which is 2 mm deep and having a 45 degree of angle. So that is the uh, you know that is the required parameters over here in IZOD impact test. In the Charpe impact test the specimen will be the same having the V notch and the 2 mm deep thickness but the length of the specimen will be of 55 mm instead of 75 mm so moving ahead next this specimen is held at vertically such that you know such that uh, that particular like the V notch is facing towards the hammer so it is held on the anvil the specimen is held on the anvil and then the hammer is released so that the hammer will get strike on the specimen at the angle of 90 degree so before that striking you know the initial amount of the that is the potential difference in the hammer that is nothing but the amount of the energy which is like there inside the hammer that is uh, noted down from the scale which is connected to the your hammer and then hammer is released and it gets striked on your workpiece your specimen so that the you know the specimen will get deformed actually and on the after the striking the scale gives the another reading so you have to note down that another reading also so after striking the total amount of the energy which is uh, absorbed by the specimen which is expressed in joules that is nothing but the initial potential energy in the hammer minus the uh, amount of the energy after uh, after uh, striking so basically we get a value which is nothing but the amount of the energy which is uh, actually uh, amount of the energy absorbed by your specimen. So that was the whole of the procedure in IZOD impact test. Now let's talk about the Charpe impact test. The test is very much similar except the angle of striking. The angle of striking in IZOD impact test was of 90 degrees but over here in the Charpe impact test the angle of striking will be of 140 to 120 degrees. So moving ahead next is the you know the specimen. The specimen is having a 10 mm square or else 55 mm long which is used in IZOD 
and in the chart impact test it will be of the 75 mm long so that is the difference in the specimen the standard will be same as that of the isod and the uh, char b which is nothing but the a370 or else or else e23 that is astm american society of testing materials that is e23 also in case of the char b impact test the specimen is held uh, horizontally horizontally such that you know this particular notch is facing on the opposite side of the uh, your uh, half striking hammer as that of in case of the isod impact test the specimen held vertically but over here in case of the uh, char beam impact test the specimen is held uh, horizontally so that is the basic difference between the isod and the char beam impact test so now let's understand why these two tests are needed over here in case of the uh, impact testing condition so in some of the industries such as the automobile industry aerospace industries steel industries you know there is a quality control department and in that department it is very necessary to understand what is the actual amount of the deformation what is the actual uh, impact toughness of the particular material so that the that particular material is best suited for that particular application so by considering the application we have to understand we have to check out the high strain rate or else the total impact toughness of the material so that's why these two of the test isod and the char p tests are carried out so guys i hope you understood this particular phenomenon of uh, isod impact test and the char p impact test which is basically used to determine the amount of the energy absorbed by the specimen during the impact loading conditions so guys thank you for watching my video please do subscribe to my educational channel engineers academy